Right now, Bitcoin's at $16,483, right? Oh, if the closer Christ. it gets to 13000 like once yeah. you get below- Is that the magic number 13? Because I keep hearing that. Well, like between 11 to 14 is where a lot of everybody is thinking it's going to go. But once you go below $14,000, because that's where we had the initial pump in 2019 when we yeah. came off the bear market mm -hmm. lows. Once you get below there, I think um, all bets are off literally anything in this market can happen, right? Mm. You can get just liquidations. You can get stable coins going down, getting de-pegged. You can get um, freaking pigs flying. Who knows, right? Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like, uh, it, it gets ridiculous. You don't know what the circus is going to be, but you know there's going to be a circus in town right. um, over you know the next few months in crypto. And so um, you know, once you take your stable coins, like you said, yeah. and you um, use them to buy, it, you are essentially, the only negative part about this is you are buying into a, uh, a falling knife to some extent, right, right. but it's because you have a three to five year plan. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah a three um, to five year plan that you're going to essentially um, not spend the money as a savings account. And then, right, um, this, is, this is so crazy. You were literally saying what like this guy next to me at the craps table was saying. To me. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you know, it, it is a casino to some extent. Hey, man, right? craps is the best odds in the house. Just yep. saying. Hey, shout but out to me. Take it from a guy who's worked in casinos. Anyways, for most of his life. Yeah, the last yeah, bit I wanted to say on that essentially was just um, then you take, you know, your keys of your coins and you take them off the exchange. So once your coins are off the exchange, then you don't have to worry about, okay, is there contagion risk for stable coins getting depegged? Is there contagion risk for my centralized exchange? Well, I don't care because I already have my coins. Right. Right. So like right now it's essentially like, it's a little bit like Indiana Jones. It's like, I want to make sure I have my money, but if it's in the bank, if it's in yeah. USDC, if it's in all these other things, it's kind of a figment of your imagination. But if it's in Ethereum or Bitcoin mm -hmm. and it's in your, your, your own uh, possession, then it's real. Cause it's the, in my opinion, like that's the only yeah. real money out there right now. Cause it, I mean, it, Cause we, it's because there's so much, that. there's so much money being spent to keep those systems alive on both Ethereum and Bitcoin that they're pretty much immutable to a very large extent, except like if there's some, for some massive thing happens, but basically people, the government or anybody, they really can't stop you sending transactions on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Right. This is why it's so powerful. Now, Ethereum's getting bastardized a little bit. Yes. Right now. But so it but Bitcoin's also heading towards that in much in a much slower rate as well. And that's another discussion we can get into.